Sego gonna hug it on, you don't have to just a cote lazar gon eges. Doing my chief's uncut. I believe it's been a minute since I've done chief's uncut, um, but I'll highlight on some of the work that I've been doing over the past few months. Um, one of the main things, or one of the bigger things that I've done, was I was a witness at the standing committee for science and research on the topic of integrating or integration of indigenous traditional knowledge and science and government policy development. So my main points were around language and our Gunyagahaga knowledge system being very deep in the understanding of sciences and the natural world. I also advocated for the committee um, to develop policies that acknowledge and recognize Indigenous knowledge systems as much as they recognize Western sciences. Um, you can review the recording of this uh, witness testimony on the Parliament of Canada website. Uh, as well, the members of the Language and Culture Network have been busy planning for the um, Cultural Awareness Month, which of course is in April, so keep an eye out for uh, sign-up sheets, dates, and all these kinds of activities that all of these people from around our community are planning for all of Ganawage Hirono. Um, I have attended the Languages and Learning Forum in Calgary and was invited through my participation on the First Nations Languages Committee from AFNQL. Uh, this forum has introduced me to a lot of great people and a lot of great ideas. A lot of the topics surrounded uh, representation of Indigenous people in, um, I guess, the broader, broader sense of the world or in media. And one of the things that stood out to me was that there are so many different ways of creating that representation, but also so many different ways of integrating our language or culture in education rather than having it as just like a subject matter that it's something that's ingrained in the way that we learn things so that we can go back to um i guess go back to our roots and keep those those really core values principles and that knowledge through generations um uh and i guess one of the most important updates as you all know um the, I'd like to acknowledge, I guess, the concerns with the tree removal at the multi-purpose building site. I would like to share that, you know, we've talked, uh, the building committee actually has talked with the students at Kahnawaga Survival School and are going to be working with them to develop a plan in order to transplant the trees that are being held in a nursery right now. So there's communication between the students and the administration of Kahnawaga Survival School and the building committee that is leading this project. As well, um, I believe that we will be um, engaging with the community on a plan or plans, however it may work out, on how to plant about 1,200 trees or more throughout the community. So this kind of work is unprecedented and we don't often see projects that remove trees work towards, I guess, replanting and rehabilitating sites in ensuring that like, I guess ideas like two to one ratio, we're planting two trees to every one tree, um, those kinds of ideas are implemented. So we're really excited to see and to show the community what we're committed to and to see how this can actually work out and perhaps we can encourage other projects to do the same, if not similar um, ideas. Um, also, I guess a really exciting thing uh, on this project is that we have a very significant portion of Ganyakahaga content. So we have um, successful bids from our community in four trades that are from our community with tree removal, excavation, concrete, and now steel. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out to myself, to Trina Daibo or Louis John Daibo, or any of our building committee members from tourism, from Turtle Island Theaters, Jessica Hernandez, Kimberly Cross Zachary. As well, you can find more information on our website, which is kmpb.ca. So those are the most of the high level um, things that we've been working on. So I guess see you again. <laughs> see you next time, Ganoaga.